What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today's episode, we're taking a look at a head-to-head -head between the PDEQ from Guptech and the Titan from This Heavy Earth. Now, both of these pedals are great. Uh, both of them kind of do the same thing. So I want to see how they sound comparable side by side. All right, so we're going to use the Victory Super Kraken uh, because that's the only amp I really need this kind of pedal for. Uh, I am going to use it in the effects loop and it's going to act as the resonance and the presence knob. All right, so we're going to kind of do a start at zero and kind of work its way up, kind of like a before and after. And then we'll kind of dial them in independently to see which one sounds best with the amp. Uh, so we'll do we'll do that. Um, so both of the switches are coming to give you a rundown. The, the red LED, as you see here, this means that it's off. So I'm going to leave it on. Both of them are going to be on. Uh, this is the Titan. And on the Guptex PDEQ, uh, the switch in the up position is on. When it's in the down position, it is off. So both switches are up. Uh, so they're both turned on. Uh, both of them are true bypass. Now, a side note is um, the Titan does have an adjustable level output. All right, now there is a potentiometer on the inside that you can dial it up or down. Um, I kind of noticed that when I first did my play test with the Titan the first time. Um, <clears throat> so I ripped it open, you know, checked out the back and there was a potentiometer in there. Uh, Shea typically does hide some small stuff inside to kind of add some flexibility. So uh, on the PDEQ from Guptech, there's nothing on the inside. So I did check that to see if maybe I could balance them. Um, so this one, there's nothing on the inside to adjust. Not that I could see anyways. There's nothing on the board uh, that was available. Uh, and then we went ahead and took this one and I turned it all the way up. So the output on this is maxed out, uh, which is pretty much comparable to uh, the Guptech one. So uh, we're gonna take my Kramer Vanguard. Got new strings on it, so time to break them in a little bit. I'm going into a Victory Super Kraken. The Kraken is being boosted by my Fortin Hex Amp or my hex drive, I'm sorry, uh, which is going into the Mojo Tone ISO cab. And of course, uh, it is loaded with a Jensen Raptor 100 and the Jensen Nighthawk 75, SM57s on both speakers. And that's what we're getting. So let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the bass tone. There's no pedals engaged, uh, not at the moment anyways, uh, other than the boost. So here we go.
so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do them independently. I'm gonna kind of dial them in a little bit uh, just to kind of what I think sounds best. Um, and I might try to do some room audio with the way I got my new room mic set up um, so you guys can kind of get a better feel for it in the room versus using my ISO cab. Obviously the ISO cab should hopefully give you the best overall uh, AB comparison. Here we go. So I'm gonna try the room mic. Um, hopefully it's not gonna be clipping or anything. But um, let's uh, let's go ahead and turn that on. All right. So now it's just the room mic. Um, so we are going to be using a Ward Giant Gnome 2x12. It's a ported cab. This is the custom one he built for me. That one is loaded with a Celestian Creamback and a Jensen Raptor 100. Uh, the, obviously it's not mic'd up, you can see it in the background. So, let's go ahead and see how it sounds in the room. So I think I think the Titan has a little more girth to it in the low mids. Um, it feels thicker, right? A little chunkier. Um, but overall, I think I think the Guptech's gonna take it. Um, I just think that there's a little bit more 
Uh, I don't know. It's it is louder on the output. Um, it's not. It's there's not as much low mid kind of stuff coming through as in the Titan, and I think that's what I like about the Titan. It's got that girthiness, that thickness to it. But the PDEQ is tighter. Um, at least what I can hear and feel in you know in the room, uh, it's tighter. It definitely doesn't need the presence as high up on the knob. So whatever frequency spectrum each pedal has is definitely a little bit different. Uh, I'm not gonna say which one is better than the other because I'm I don't believe that. Uh, I think both of these have their place, and both of these can be used in a very different aspect. Obviously, I'm only one person, so. Uh, the type of music I play and the type of stuff that I'm trying to recreate on the guitar or whatever isn't going to fluctuate uh, with everybody else or it's not going to be the same as everybody. it's going to fluctuate, you know, based on each person. I mean, so, uh, you know, obviously it's all my opinion and it doesn't really mean much. But so that's overall kind of where I'm sitting on them. Um, I think for what I'm looking for, I think for now, the PDEQ, I'm going to hook it back up and kind of play with it a little bit longer. Uh, and then we're gonna switch out to the Titan, and I'm gonna try it with some other amps too. Uh, I'm gonna try it with my my Marshall, right? My JCM 900. I'm gonna see how it does, uh, and I want to see how it does with my uh, my Mesa. Um, I'm gonna do the series effects mod loop, uh, and and fix that from a parallel to a series. Let's see how well that amp does with it. Even though it's got a presence, it doesn't really need it. But anyways, thanks for watching. Tell me what you guys think overall. Uh, does anybody out there have either one of these two? Because, like I said, they're both fantastic pedals. Uh, they both have a great voice to them. Um, I do know that this one uh, can be used mostly in, in the effects loop or in front of the amp. So we'll do another video a little later on uh, and see how well it does in front of an amp. Um, we'll find... I'll probably try it on my, my, my Republic when I do that. Because the Republic's already got, you know, the... Um, Resonance and presence, or resonance, resonance and presence. God, that's why would you call it that? Uh, the deep and the highs. We'll call it that. Anyways, uh, so we might try that. We'll try that a little later on. But anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, tell me in the comments below what you guys thought overall. We'll catch you in the next one.